Now here we're identifying linear functions given ordered pairs. So in order for a function to be linear, what ends up happening is that your x values should be increasing by a particular interval and so should your y values, okay? And it should be increasing by um, either increasing or decreasing. It should not be multiplying or dividing, okay? So it should just be increasing by the same value each time. So if I look here, from negative two to six, I would have had a, I would have had to add eight because negative two plus eight is six. To get from six to ten, I would have had to add four. To get from ten to fourteen, I would have had to add four again. Now notice these two have the same relationship, but this one does not. Okay. Therefore, this problem would not be linear. Now, just real quick, as an example, had this been positive two, what would we have done, right? Had that been a positive two, notice this would have increased by four, from here to here increased by four, and from here to here it increased by four. But that's not enough to say that linear. We also have to make sure that this is having the same behavior. So from 3 to 6, I'm adding 3. From 6 to 12, I'm adding 6. And from 12 to 24, I'm adding 12. Notice that the increases are multiples of each other. However, they have to be the same in order for it to be linear. So either of these two are not linear. Now let's look at function two. To get from negative two to zero, I would have had to add two. To get from zero to two, you would have had to add two. And to get from two to four, you would have had to add two again. Which means this one does have an increase all the same. So now let's take a look at the y values. To get from here to here, I would have had to have subtracted one because negative one minus one is negative two. To get from here to here, I would have had to subtract one. And to get from here to here, I would have had to subtract one. And because it's the same difference for all of them, this one is linear. Now let's look here. To go from here to here, I would have had to add one. Here to here, add one. From here to here, add one. So the x values behavior is good. Now from here to here, I would have had to minus two. From here to here, I would have had to minus two. And from here to here, I would have had to add five. These two are good, but this one throws everything off. So this particular function is not linear. Now let's look at the third one. From here to here, I would have had to add two, add two, and add two. So the x values are good. From here to here, I would have had to add five. From here to here, I would have had to add six. And from here to here, I would have had to add eight. These are not the same value increasing each time. So this one is also not linear.